Welcome to this demonstration of Dev Web Correlation Rules. LoadRunner 2020 SP3 introduce a new ability to create and edit predefined correlation rules. The process of locating, extracting, and replacing recorded dynamic values with values valid at replay, is called correlation. The Dev Web Engine handles correlation during script generation, by applying pre-defined correlation rules, or by performing a record scan on the recorded data. To create or edit a predefined rule, open the Recording Options dialog and press the Correlation Rules view. This view contains a tree of all the existing predefined rules defined for your scripts. The tree contains categories. Each category is a logical name for a group of rules. Next to each category or rule is a checkbox. When checked, the rule will run during code generation. Note that if the category is not checked, the group of rules under it will not run during code generation, even if the rules themselves are checked. Click the Add Category button to add a new category, then define the category name and the file name. The created file will contain all of the category data. Click the Add Rule button to add a new rule, then define the rule name and type. The rule type defines the type of extractor that will be used to locate and extract the dynamic data in the responses. It can be based on boundary definitions or regular expressions, or can be used to query for object values inside JSON, XML, and HTML formatted data. The category or rule name can be edited by clicking it. Use the delete button to delete a category or a rule. When deleting a category, all of the category rules will be deleted as well. Rules are constructed from extractor and applier. Each extractor is configured by defining each of the extractor properties. For example, for the boundary extractor, you can define the left and right boundary, the scope of the search, whether to include converters for base64, URL, and HTML encoding and decoding, if the search is case insensitive or if to include redirections. The extractor type can be changed. The properties that are marked with a red asterisk are mandatory properties and should be configured in order for the extractor to work as expected. Define an applier for the rule if needed. The appliers apply the extracted values, so that the saved parameter is used instead of the recorded value in subsequent requests to the server. It refines the way the extracted value is applied in the request. By default, the defined applier for a new rule is a simple applier that will run on the entire scope. The following appliers are available, simple, boundary, regular expression or no applier at all. Like the extractor properties, each applier can be configured by defining each of the applier properties. Thank you for watching.